Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight we're going for a beer that is going to draw comparisons to another beer of a very similar style uh, from a competitor of this particular brewery. The beer in question tonight is this one. It is Pink Grapefruit Halcyon from Thornbridge. And I've just realised looking at the uh, little screen off to the side of the camera you probably didn't really see that all too clear. Um, anyway. It is a pink grapefruit imperial IPA and it weighs in at 7.4% and the beer it's going to be compared to, at least in my head anyway, is uh, Elvis juice from Brewdog. Now, why am I comparing them? Well, obvious really, they're grapefruit IPAs. Will they have anything in common? Will one be a clear winner? We'll find out in another video, uh, not today, because um, I've bought more of this and more Elvis juice to do a side-by-side -side comparison another day. And I was chatting on one of the, uh, the beer groups on Facebook last night with Ben uh, Ramon Thompson and uh, I suggested that I might just do that. So this one has been sitting in the fridge, it's nice and cold and it's ready to review. And it says, we added pink grapefruit to our renowned award-winning Imperial IPA to create a huge fruit bomb with a delicate bit of finish. And it contains, ah, this is nice, you get a good uh, idea of the hops, you get Galaxy, Ella, Chinook, Nelson Sauvin and Bramling Cross hops. The look is vibrant, the, uh, the taste is zingy grapefruit, the smell is fresh and zesty and they recommend it goes great with grilled meat. And I like that. I love a barbecue. It, so it's going to go well with a barbecue, of course. Um, the ingredients are water, barley, wheat, hops, yeast, and natural pink grapefruit extract. So there we are. That's what we've got. It's a 7.4% IPA. They call it an Imperial IPA. Are we splitting hairs on that one? Who knows? Anyway, I don't really care. All I care about is what it tastes like, and let's find out. So, let's have a look at the pour. Oh, it's very pale. No real haze to speak of. We've got a fairly well carbonated beer. Very pale, very clear. A finger or so of white head. Relatively tight bubbles. You can see the carbonation. In fact, let's go. Let's go up close. You can probably see that carbonation. Now the glass is uh, very clean. Oh, well, I hasten to add. Um, but yeah, it's very bubbly, very active. So lots going on. As for the aromas, let's have a whiff. Yeah, grapefruit off the bat. Not that real bitter pith type flavour, but a sweet a sweeter grapefruit and that works for me because I'm not a great fan of the pithy horrible kind of pull your ass up to your elbows kind of bitterness it smells good let's go in for a taste I tell you what that's nice that is nice it's quite dry on the finish it's got a sweet grapefruit, hoppy, very, very, very refreshing. That's good. From memory, it's it's more natural tasting than Elvis juice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That is that is that is very very nice. I like I like the grapefruit, which is strange for me to say that because I'm not a huge grapefruit fan at all. I like the fact that it's over a fresh, light, summery. Well beer base it's it's very good I'm uh, 
I'm not going to tell the wife about this one because she will raid my stash. She loves Elvis Juice. It is the sort of beer that she would say is her favourite. And I fear my stash of this might deplete quite quickly. Mm. That's good. Like I say, it's very light, fresh, summery. Subtle bitterness on the end. Sweet pink grapefruit up front. A little bit of hop in the middle. Interestingly, the hops aren't a huge part of the flavour profile. They're obviously there. But they don't add, they don't overpower the grapefruit. They let, they let the grapefruit shine. And I like that. I do. Which I still maintain is strange for me because I'm not a grapefruit fan. I cannot stand the fruit. I will not eat it. I will not entertain the thought of eating it. But this in beer works. It really does work. And it's probably due to the, uh, the similarity of flavours. You know, there's that subtle bitterness of a grapefruit that works with the bitterness of the hops. And it's just, yeah. It's not overpowering. That's great. Mm. Let's pop her down and have a little think about a score. So, I need to refresh my memory of what I scored Elvis Juice on Ye Old Untapped. Doesn't like looking at my boat race, this, uh, this phone in the, in the bright light. You know, interestingly though, um, I use facial recognition as my unlock, and it just makes me think if if the old security forces, whatever you might want to call them, ever want to get access to your phone, you could deny them a pin code, but if they can just sit and hold your phone at your face because you've got facial recognition set up, they could get in straight away unless you pull a put a right nasty gurner. Anyway. I scored Elvis Juice 3.75 out of 5. And I think from memory, and again it is from memory, it's been what, a fortnight since the last time Elvis Juice? I think I prefer this a little bit more. So we're going to say, would I buy this again? Yes, I would. I would. Would I rush out and buy it again? Summertime, I would. It's very refreshing, it's very light. It belies the 7.4%. It does not drink like a 7.4% beer should. It's dangerous in that sense. It's so easy to drink. The only thing that gives any clue as to that level of ABV is that bitterness. Otherwise you'd think you're drinking a soft drink. It's quite scary how they've done that. I like the hop. Like I say, it's middling. It doesn't sit and dominate the profile. It sits there in the background and allows that sweet grapefruit, excuse me, just to sit on top and just do its little thing. You know, as uh, as uh, Wright said, Fred once said, it does its little turn on the catwalk, comes away, lets the hops do their thing and sort of mellows off into a sweet bitter finish. It's nice. It's very nice indeed. I would drink this during the summer with a barbecue, you know, some pork ribs or whatever. I mean, I know I'm picking up on what uh, what Thornbridge have said, it goes well with grilled meat, but it would work well with a sticky barbecue sauce that's so s sort of sugary and smoky. This would balance it out. Lovely. God, I sound like a pretentious twat. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it would. Let's be honest, it's refreshing, it cleans the palate, it's got those sweet grapefruit flavours and a subtle middle level hop and bitterness on the finish. I like it. So, with me saying I scored Elvis Juice 3.75, I would score this slightly higher and I would give it a four and a quarter out of five. Four and a quarter, that's half a point more than Elvis Juice. Will I think the same when I do a side-by-side -side comparison next week? Who knows? We'll find out. I will I'll release this video. Oh, it's Sunday now. Will I release it tonight? Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? We'll check out. But either way, the comparison video will come next week. And we'll see. So, in the meantime, ladies and gents, boys and girls, 
Be upstanding and thankful to the people of Thornbridge for this lovely beer, the Pink Grapefruit Halcyon. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.